Well, as we look forward to tonight's games, I've got Demola Lawrence on the program to give us all the stati I mean, statistics and data about um, both teams, or rather the, the four teams that will be in action as far as tonight's games are concerned. All right, tonight's game, of course, is getting a lot of balls around the globe. And of course, it's going to be Manchester United against Barcelona at the Old Trafford. And the big question is, can the manager for Manchester United, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, do the unimaginable, or Manchester United, can they do the unimaginable? What they did against Paris Saint-Germain, can they do it again? That's a big question. And of course, a big trial for the manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, playing against Barcelona, the Spanish giant. But of course, let's see some of the last five meetings between these great clubs. Interesting one. Now let's start with 1998. It ended 3-3 at the group stage. Barcelona against Manchester United. And of course, in 2008, okay, it ended... This one, this time around, it will be the Ajax. They are very young, but very vibrant. They did it against uh, Real Madrid when they came back. And of course, they beat them 5-3 on aggregate, and they proved what they have. But this time around, they are facing the Italian giant Juventus. So, this is the last four meetings between the four, between the two of them. Uh, Ajax against Juventus, that was in 2004 at UEFA Europa, this time around, UEFA Europa. And Juventus lost to uh, Ajax, and of course, still in the UEFA Europa uh, 2004, rather again, uh, Juventus against um, uh, Ajax. It ended 2-1. Now, in 2009, it was UEFA Champions League. This time around, it was Juventus against Ajax, and Juventus against uh, uh, against Ajax. It ended goalless. So, what this simply means is that it's, there's always been a slim margin between these two clubs. So probably we might not be experiencing or getting the best of goals tonight between these two uh, great uh, clubs. But let's see, another interesting one. Now, this has to do with the possible 11 with Juventus. 4-3-3 on the night, it will be for Juventus. 
we have Shizeni, Akancelo, Bonucci, Urgani, Alexander Sandro, you remember him very well, and Kedera, Pjanic, Madus, uh, Matudi, and you have Benadisic, Mandzukic, and Ronaldo. Now, Ronaldo will be the star man for this. So what that simply means is that let's look at the star man for, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, for uh, Juventus as they go into tonight's match against Manchester, against uh, Ajax rather. So you have Ronaldo, Mandzukic and ben, uh, Benadzic. So what are we looking at? Definitely, uh, like I said, it might not be as we expected. They've always had that struggle against Ajax. Okay, let's look at the star men for two for Juventus. Ronaldo, Paul Dybala and Mandzukic. Ronaldo has got 120, over, one, over 100 goals, 121 goals, uh, if you may say. And Paul Dybala, very, very good. Uh, where anytime Ronaldo is not on the pitch, he lives up to expectation. Mandzukic on the other side will be proving his worth against Ajax. So we're looking forward to an interesting match. But like I said, can they produce an ecstasy of goal for us tonight? Okay, let's look at uh, Ajax. Ajax on the other side. Dustin Tadic. Akim Ziyech and David Neres. You remember this man, David Neres? Uh, Neres, rather. He was the one who tormented Real Madrid at uh, the second leg. Uh, Real Madrid didn't find it funny. So, can he do something spectacular tonight again? That's a big question. Concerning, let's look looking at the fact that Ronaldo was the missing link in Real Madrid against Ajax. But this time around, Ronaldo is in uh, Juventus. So, can there be an interesting mouth-watering match tonight for us to look at in the UEFA Champions League? We'll cross our hand and look at what is going to happen at the UEFA Champions League tonight. Goals is what makes the game interesting. So, without goals, the game might not be interesting. So, let's look forward to an interesting match tonight at the UEFA Champions League.